I want you to think about all the different shapes that you know. Did you know that we can take all of those shapes and separate them into two separate groups? The first group you might have heard about in math. These are geometric shapes, and geometric shapes have names. Some examples of geometric shapes are square, rhombus, circle, star, oval, and triangle. The second group of shapes are shapes that we normally find in nature. These shapes are called organic shapes. Organic shapes don't have names. You'll see shapes that have curves and points and flat sides, but these shapes won't have specific names. Now I want you to create three organic shapes and three geometric shapes. You can create these shapes by just cutting, or if you want to use a pencil and draw those shapes first, you may. Now that I have my pile of three organic shapes and three geometric shapes, I want you to share those with your neighbor. Have Mrs. Johnson come over and look at your table and see if you can sort all of your shapes into geometric shapes and organic shapes. Once you have shared with your table, um, we're going to fill out the workbook where it says geometric shapes and organic shapes. There is a line here and a line here for you to fill in. At your tables, I want you to, to discuss with your neighbors what geometric shapes have and what organic shapes do not have. How can we tell the difference between geometric shapes and organic shapes? Talk with your neighbors. Okay, now that you've discussed with your table, we should know that geometric shapes have names. So we're going to grab our pencil and write geometric shapes have names, like square, circle, triangle. Organic shapes don't have names. These are our made up shapes. We can say they look like something else. So our shape that looks like grass or looks like hills or looks like a blob, but we can't say these are hills because hills look all different ways. We can say this is a rectangle and everybody knows what a rectangle is. Now I want you to grab your favorite shape for each category and I want you to glue down your favorite shape that you made for geometric and organic. Remember, when we glue, we're going to take that glue stick, twist it one twist up. We're going to draw around that edge of your shape with your glue. Do it on the side that you drew if you used a pencil. Put your shape down and then turn it over and give it a back rub. Okay, gentle but press down, squishing that glue, making it stick. And then pick that favorite organic shape on the side with my pencil. And you notice when I did this, I tore it, but I kept going because when I glue this down all together, you're never going to notice that. I don't have to glue the pieces together. I'm just going to glue and put glue over the top of it, tracing that shape, turn it over, lay it down, press it down gently. 
and then I'm going to rub my shape. You can feel all of those points. Turn it over. And then my shape is glued down. Once you are done, raise your hand again so that Mrs. Johnson can come by and initial those.